So now that we have this array ready, that uh, this array is ready, what we need to do is that we need to uh, get the response from the chatbot. So the chatbot here will be trained, and after the chatbot has been trained, what we need to do is that instead of returning here, instead of returning the same exact message that the user sends, we need to get the message from the bot, from the chatbot. And to do that, what we need to do is that we need to say here, remember we have we have here this bot object. So here in this function in the get response we can say bot and then dot get response. Get response. And this get response takes the statement or the question that the user asked. So here I can pass the user user message. And then this is going to return uh, the response from this array, one of these responses. So I'm going to first convert this to into a string str and then just to make sure that it's a string and uh, our application doesn't crash. And then I'm going to store this in a variable called chat underscore response. Let's say chat response camel case respawn response. So the chat response again is going to be equal to the bot that get response and then we pass the user message. So the chat bot is going to take the user message and it's going to use the get response to get one of these responses that, he, uh, he, uh, that it has been trained on. And then finally we need to return, and instead of returning the user message, we need to return the chat response. Chat response. Let me now save and let me open up the terminal and let's run the application one more time and you need to wait until the chatbot gets uh, trained so as you can see here the chatbot is being trained and here it, it has been trained very quickly because as I told you there is only few uh, responses let's now head on over to the browser and refresh and test so let me first here refresh and let me here say something from this array so remember this array has these uh, statements and responses. So let's say what's your name, for example. Let me first say hi. So if I say hi and send, it's going to say hi there. Let me say what's your name. What's your name? So if I say what's your name and send, it's going to say I am a chatbot. And that's correct here. It says um, I'm just a uh, I'm just a chatbot. So the, the, as you can see here, there's a difference here. It says I'm I'm a chatbot, but here, but uh, but we have trained the chatbot to say to answer with I am I'm just a chatbot. The reason be, uh, for this difference is because this this library is smart, and it's it's very smart uh, in a way that it would be able to figure out the best answer, even though even if we don't here um, specify a specific response. Let's say what is your favorite food. So I'm gonna say here. What is, what is your favorite food? So I'm going to say, what is your fave food? So if I say, what is your fave food? And send, here uh, it's going to say, I like cheese. So it works successfully. Let's test with what's your name one more time. I'm going to say here, what's your name? And let me send. Here it's going to say I'm a chatbot. And if you try many times, eventually it's going to use one of our responses. So one of our responses is, uh, is I'm just a chatbot. Let me try one more time. Because I want to show you that eventually we are going to get the response. As you can see, uh, uh, here we get the response that we have specified. So this library is very smart. And as you can see here, all of the responses are, uh, or uh, all of the responses match the uh, the the questions that we asked. So this chatbot is very very smart right now, and it's capable of answering these statements that we have.